Hi again, welcome to another Sendfox tutorial. If you are looking to import your contacts to Sendfox from other apps like MailChimp, you are in the right video. In Sendfox, there are three ways to import your contacts via a CSV file, via MailChimp, or via Google. Let's start with your CSV file. More often than not, Apps allow you to export your contacts and it is usually in a CSV file or a comma separated values file. The file name of a CSV file ends with, you guessed it right, .csv. CSV files can usually be opened by a spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel. When exporting a CSV file from another app, it is best that you examine the file first before importing it into Sendfox. Here is an example of a CSV file that was exported from a well-known app called MailChimp. In Sendfox, the only columns that we need are the following. Email address, first name, and last name. All the other columns will be ignored by Sendfox. We usually recommend that you delete all other columns and leave those three columns in the CSV file. You will also want to make sure that your information are indeed separated by columns in the file. For example, email addresses are in one column, first names are in another, and etc. If your CSV file is already in the correct format, you are now ready to import your CSV file into your Sendfox account. Let's log in to your Sendfox account. Go to your lists. You can either create a new list to group your contacts together, or you can add them to an existing list. To create a new list, click on Create List. Give your new list a name. Then click Upload CSV file. A pop-up window should appear asking you to locate your CSV file in your computer. Once you have found it, click Open. Remember that Lifetime Plan charges $10 for every 1,000 contacts in excess of your current contacts limit. If you are good to go, click on Create List. This should create a brand new list for you and will start registering your imported contacts. Worried about duplicates in your CSV file? Worry not. Sendfox does not keep duplicate contact records. It will base all contacts on their email addresses, so if you have two contacts with the same email address, Sendfox will merge their records with the info of the last one registered. To add your contacts to an existing list, Go to your lists. On the right side of your screen, select Edit. Click Upload CSV file. Complete the steps and you're good to go. Now let's import contacts via MailChimp. While logged into your Sandfox account, go to your lists. Click on Edit. Here you can edit the title of the list if you wish to do so. Click on Import contacts from MailChimp. You will then be asked to log into your MailChimp account. Once logged in, contacts will then be copied from your MailChimp account and imported into Sendfox. Please note that active contacts will be added to your Sendfox as actives, and subscribers for MailChimp will automatically be marked as unsubscribed. Contacts that have not confirmed the double opt-in from MailChimp will also be imported in. Refresh your lists page to see the progress of the import process. Next, let's import your Google account. While logged into your Sendfox account, go to your lists. Click on Edit. Click on Import from Google and a pop-up window will appear to log into your Google account. Complete the steps and Sendfox will start importing your contacts from your Google account. And that's it. For more information, you can visit our help section here or send us an email at support at sendfox.com. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to be the first to see our newest videos and tutorials. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.